Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going through an overview of the staff and user database where you'll be mainly be able to create your staff and users and be able to put in information like holidays, absenteeism, qualifications, rates, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up into settings at the top and we're going to click on staff. Now in here you will see all your staff members um, that you've currently created. Now if you wish to create a new one you simply just click on new and then you just fill in the details and in these details you'll see little tick boxes like engineer if they're an engineer and account manager if they're an account manager. It's really important if you want this engineer to have access to click remote and click jobs and to be viewable in the scheduler that you do tick that engineer box if they are an engineer. Now the other things you also need to fill in are maybe holiday entitlement so you can see here we've got 21 days and the start of the holiday year is 1st of January. You can put other things in like date of birth, start date, leaving date, trial end date as well, um, address information and also contact information. So going at the top, once you've got that information in, you can see that you can put in records for that staff member. So any disciplinary actions that you may take with that staff member, you can put in here. Any general, any lateness, anything like that, you can put a record in there. You can also click on notes and you can put in any staff notes for that staff member and you can go to holiday and you can put in holiday and to do the holiday you simply just select the days you want them to be on holiday go up to new holiday at the top for selected days full day half day a.m. or half day p.m. and if you do full day it will highlight in blue and then you've got all those in holiday there to delete them just select them go to delete holiday selected holiday and delete them you have to do this one by one just in case you make a mistake and you didn't mean to delete all of them at the same time. So we go to the next tab, we'll go to absenteeism and it's the same principle. You select the day that they may be off ill and then you go to new absentee, full selected day, unauthorised or authorised access and you simply just choose it. And then the next tab we're going to go to is salary. So you can put in salary details in here if you wish to and you just click on new salary if you wish to do that. You can put in national insurance numbers, etc., and any payroll references as well. And then the next tab after that is rates, and this is where you might set up those engineer rates. Currently, they're already set up for this particular user, Axel Rose. And as you can see, you go to normal rate, you can see you've got a charge out rate if you're going to use this engineer, and you've also got a cost rate of how much it's going to cost you to use that engineer. These are predefined rates, but there's nothing stopping you just selecting, for example, normal rate, going to custom and put in, for example, your own cost rate, so how much that engineer costs you. Okay, and you then might put the charge out in your rates under the customer. Now the rates bit, we have got another tutorial on this and it's really worth watching um, to get a good understanding of rates. Now the next tab is documents, so here you can link any documents, so you can see we've got a PDF here, but we can also go to new and we can go and link another document or we can link to a folder that might be associated to that staff member. And then the next tab, which is really important, is login privileges. And this is where you go to set out those login privileges. So, for example, for this particular user, Axel Rose, we've got a few things that you can access, but not many in Click Service. But in Click Remote 5, we might go, OK, he's going to have access to Click Remote 5. And then he's going to be in the engineer part, and he's got access to Click Remote. And also the same with Click Jobs as well. And then you simply just click on Change Password and put that password information. If you want them to have access to click service, you just need to put in these permissions. You've got some user groups here that you can also create within the settings and settings. You can create different groups. In this case, I'm just going to select user. So it means he can have access to the database, but he's restricted to a few things. But you can also just tick the things that you want him to have access to um, just by doing that. And once you're happy, just click on change password and give that user a password. So that's your login and privileges. So the next tab after that is timesheet and work times. So it might be that you want to use timesheets and click. And what you do is you pick the days that they work and the start times and end times that they work. Maybe put their lunch start and lunch end as well. And then you can put in things, do they get a paid lunch? And you've also got non-work types that they might get paid for, like workshop, um, vehicle breakdown, that sort of stuff. Um, you can also see the non-work types in here and you can edit the start times and end times of those work times if you want to. Now the next tab is qualifications. Now qualifications, you need to firstly really think about the qualifications you want to create in your Click database. 
And to do that, you can go into Add Qualifications and you will see the button New Qualification. However, if you've already got some created in there, you can just select that qualification, put it down here, and then you can start putting in how long that training is valid for, how long the um, certificate is valid for, when the training might be due, and you can enable reminders. So you get prompted to say, this engineer needs to go and redo his exams or redo his certificates or training. And you've also got a little tab in documents as well where you can put those certificates in as well under the qualification too. Okay, so that's really the staff and user database. And what I'm going to do now is just save and cancel that. And close. And that's it for the staff and user database tutorial. Thanks very much for listening.